friends so now we are starting with how do you create a hr dashboard and very interactive dynamic dashboard buttons just on a click of a button you will see reports getting generated charts uh, coming from the dynamic uh, data and everything yeah so this is my hr database which normally this type of format is used uh, by all the companies columns might be a little bit different headings and all but the framework is same so if you will see this data i have three sheets in this file first is the employee data sheet wherein you have first name last name gender nationality marital status tenure experience last company department and all the details job type induction completed or no what was the hiring mode per hiring cost so all these details are there okay this is the first sheet we have another sheet wherein you have a detail for attrition sheet name is attrition so same data is there of the hr uh, sheet only the last two column is added one is the status and another is the reason for leaving the company and uh, we have another sheet i'm going to the third sheet that is a training data so the people who have completed the training their employee id name how many hours which month okay uh, what was the cost per person which is normally calculated uh, total cost divided by number of people which you know what was the module covered through which vendor you did the training what was the uh, batch number for that so you have basically three data employee attrition and training data okay oh, now if you want to present this data to the management so if your management ask you okay can you share the hr reports what's happening with the hr so if you give this report to them what they will understand from this will they understand anything from this many of you are here manager and above if your team member gives you this report okay this is the data 500 employees are there you will not understand anything from this so this big data needs to be converted into a summary report which management can understand and analyze okay so how do you present this data in a best way if they just see and everything is in front of their eyes okay now for this there are different methods of creating for example if my management told me very simple example ramzan can you show me to each nationality how many people are there in our company very simple my company is having thousand people and uh, i have people from 20 different nationality so to create this report what i can do if i don't know pivot i will not say no to them i need to give some solution so one of the way is this i will copy this nationality i created a new file by pressing control n and i say control v for paste now from this nationality there are many duplicate nationalities so i want to bring the unique value so there is an option in data over here which says remove duplicates so we click on remove duplicates and you say okay so now you got all the unique nationalities after that you will say over here count and now i wanted to know there are how many egyptians in my company so i go to this file and i will do the filter so when you say control shift l see how long it will take okay and what is the shortcut method for that so i will come over here and i will filter on egyptian which you know how do you filter and then you will select and over here below you are seeing the count 47 so we go here and we type 47 then you filter on india you filter on jordan lebanon and all it will really take lots of time plus in future if you make any changes over here if you add a record delete a record this filter is not going to update automatically because this is not attached to pivot neither is attached to any formula okay so again you have to do the filter once again so it's an entire lengthy procedure to do that there are many other ways people do sort also again it's a lengthy procedure okay so how do you solve this issue the best way to create a summary report is using a pivot there is no alternate to pivot okay it's one of the best option so i will take you from pivot table basic to the advanced level in next one hour okay without any break so be prepared for that and you will take your level to the next okay now friends before starting with the pivot table what is pivot and all you need to see how is your data 
because to create a summary report the data which you are having that should be a clear data okay if your data is having mistake your summary report will be having a mistake right so what are the things that you should take care before creating a pivot table the first very very important thing is there should be no spelling mistake in your data there is one more thing how you will get this data actually so there are two modes for that one is you are a hr a person joins your company i join your company so what you will do either you have a excel sheet and you will go in the end over here and you will fill 501 and you will add my all the details another method is you already have a software web based software wherein you will fill all the details but finally from that software you download the report again in the excel and you uh, do manipulation or you modify some field which was not required and all right so finally you get this type of data either it's coming from a software or you are you have created manually there are the two scenario okay now the first thing was your data should be clean for example here you have some people uh, from nationality egyptian somewhere it is written egyptian somewhere it is written egypt somewhere it is written india somewhere in over here you have written indian now when you will create a pivot table it will show you two different one is india one is indian so before creating pivot the first thing is your data should be clean either all spelling should be wrong or all should be right there is one scenario uniqueness should be there okay first is this the another is your heading should not be blank means it's, it's not the you don't put any heading only how pivot will come what is the heading where to drag so make sure your heading is not blank the third thing your cells should not be merged for example sometime we have this type of habit we select this all this three married all three are married right so you know your favorite favorite option go to home and people do merged right so they mostly do the merge means all these three record are married these three people yeah it looks good merge but for pivot table it's bad what does when you find okay how many married people are there in your company okay so it will count married as one word okay whereas if it is written three time he will count three so pivot count word by word okay he does not count the merged cells right if it is merged cell you have to unmerge it okay i select this i again click on this and i press control d so whatever was the first it will copy it down right so first is your spelling mistake should not be there your cells should not be merged your heading should not be blank okay the fourth thing is your higher date or any date of birth or higher date whatever it is okay it should be in a correct format somewhere you have first year then month then date or somewhere you have dmy so first you need to sort it out if you are downloading from a report crm server or oracle sql wherever you have hrm module then it will be uh, clear means it will be correct when you type annually that time we might do some mistake so that needs to be cleared that's all only there is one more small thing which it should be avoided sometimes you should also not have a blank rows try to avoid blank rows but it will not uh, affect your report however when you start a pivot if it is an entire row is blank and if i go to insert and if i say pivot table see here selected only that much data so if data is not blank means there is no blank row it will select till end so try to avoid all these small small things so now when you think okay your data is clear and you are ready now you can start with the pivot table okay how many from this group know already pivot table very good so it's still i promise you you will get many new things from my session whatever level you are you will get inshallah something new okay now before creating pivot what you do you see the errors and everything after that what you do normally now what is the next step to insert a pivot what you do you go to insert and do the pivot now i will give you something new now you should not insert directly pivot you should convert your data into the dynamic data why i will tell you now you created a, a record a summary report on 500 records right in future when you insert more records so it pivot will not update automatically you have to go to data design or analysis and change the range then only it will refresh i will show you a technique in pivot 
then you convert your data into the dynamic report and whenever you insert any additional data automatically it will increase the range one example i will give and then actually i will start with pivot so you understand what is about dynamic table so i'm just pressing control n to give you one small example of the concept of dynamic table for example i type over here city and let's say i type dubai abu dhabi sharjah and let's say rasul khaima some count i'm putting number of people in each city this much this much this much and this much okay this is one example i selected the data center what is the shortcut alt h a c border alt h b a control b is your favorite shortcut which you know right now if i want to create a chart on this this is a normal data huh if i press alt f1 alt f1 is a shortcut for creating a chart so you created a chart on this perfect now i will just quickly uh, format it i will right click on it add data label this is a normal chart now you see over here when i selected this chart it is showing this blue area it means chart is created on this area now if i insert any other record over here for example if i type uaq uaq will not be added automatically under the chart unless and until i click and i come on this corner and i drag it now uaq will come got it now i will show you a technique which is dynamic so what you should do i delete this chart now i am showing you the concept of dynamic table before creating a table before creating a chart before creating a pivot table before doing a view lookup convert your data into the dynamic table how to convert very simple put the cursor inside the data just press control t control t is a shortcut for table t for table just press enter and it will convert your data into this first it was very simple now it is good looking it's cosmetic change means uh, it has become formatting change one advantage is this but the main hidden advantage is this when i press alt f1 on this i change something design and i press right click add now you see still when i select it is showing till here but now i am inserting any other city automatically chart will take okay let's say for example if i type dubai abu dhabi sharjah rasul khaima and let's say i type ajmal you see ajman has come automatically as a shift is 6 okay i type for example align i type for example 60 automatic is coming so same thing will happen in our pivot whenever you will increase the data automatically range will take you just have to do the refresh nothing else okay? this is the concept of converting the all your hr data all your training data should be in control t there are many other benefits of converting into the table around 12 to 13 which i can't go into that in mode now otherwise entire pivot will change right session will go so now this is the thing now how do you insert a pivot okay before inserting a pivot we will decide what are the reports that you can create on this you tell me and we will create that reports and i will show you a nice looking wonderful dashboard by the end of the session you will be happy inshallah so what do you think friends what are the different reports that can be created on this one is nationality wise okay gender wise how many male and female age group perfect very nice so what i think i should do is quickly i will type a notepad over here and quickly i will just type nationality wise second is gender wise third stanley you said was age group wise huh? age group means uh, from 10 to 20 how many people so you come to know young people old people how many are there ha huh? okay good any other report Depart department wise ha huh? department wise count ha huh? very good what else turnover turnover means attrition right okay attrition so you want attrition what department wise month wise department wise So we will take department and both month wise okay what else salary range now i don't have stanley payroll data i will add next time in this okay huh? experience yeah experience now let me see if i have experience column over here it's there where it is after hire 
Ah, I have years of experience. Perfect. Very good. What else? Month wise hiring. Good. Month wise hiring. Each month, how many people got hired? Very good. Hmm? Date of joining. Uh, how it will help us in our HR report? Number of years in our company. That is a tenure, right? Tenure, huh? Perfect. Very good. What else? Uh, means how many people in each location? Let me see if I have location over here. I don't think I have a location over here where they are placed. No, right? No problem. We will do it quickly. We'll add a location. Dubai, Sharjah, Ras Al Khaima, Ajman, Fujairah, Ummul Kuwain, and let's say Khalas. I selected this. I double click on this corner and it will copy till end. Okay. So I will just quickly just show all, otherwise, all records will be same. Okay. I just put Rasul Khaima, Rasul Khaima, Rasul Khaima, Rasul Khaima. Okay, what else you said? Location wise is done. Then what, friends? Huh? Married or unmarried? Yeah. Married or unmarried, right. How it will help HR, married and unmarried for insurance? Huh? Yeah, Some, you said something, sir? Job type means how many of managerial level and all. Very good. What else? See, now you are saying more report, then session will go on. Huh? We have to sit then. Well, how many are MBAs, PhD and our company are qualification? In fact, I should have added one more thing. If it would have been an IT company, how many people did Excel certification or ITIL or CCNA? So how many people are certified in our company? Yeah, we can add that. I don't have now that data. No issues. Okay. What else, friend? Quickly. How many people reaching the retirement age? Very, very good. Reaching retirement age. Now, for this, we have to take his date of birth and we have to see today's date. So, today's date minus his uh, date of birth. So, we will get number of years and we will see our company policies, let's say 60 years. So we will see, okay, if it is more than 60 years or between 50 and 60, it should automatically become red, something like this we will do. Okay, very good report. What else, friend? Uh, salary data, I don't have, my friend. Payroll data, next time I will add in this sheet, yeah? I have only attrition, training, and employment. So in training, I think attrition, we can say. How many uh, attrition we have written over here? Huh? Reason for attrition, yeah. So I will just add over here only 5A. Peep, uh, reason for turnover. Huh? In finance, turnover is basically, you know. And in this, okay, normally I use mostly word attrition, attrition. We are used to that, okay. So in the same way, you can have more on training also. How many training hours completed, right? Training hours completed each month, okay. We can also have cost analysis. Hmm. Training cost, you are saying, right? Ah, hiring cost. Yeah, perfect. Yes, we have a last column over here hiring mode and cost per hire. Yeah. So, hiring cost. Okay, friends. So, let's 15 records, 15 reports. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Training, uh, we will come to know if there is no partiality is happening or whatever. He might be good also. That's why we are giving him more business. But you don't know. Okay. So, training vendor. What I should write heading? Training vendor. Source of training means means through vendor okay okay training vendor number of people trained uh, module wise in which module people were trained and how many hours it reached okay like this you can go on friends okay so now we will stop here and we will actually start with the how do you create all this thing let's start with the first one so the first step is what 
अब आप व्हाट आई विल डू नाउ कंट्रोल टी वेरी गुड कंट्रोल टी इट विल आस्क मी डू यू हैव अ हेडर यस यस से ओके एंड योर डेटा विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू अ ब्यूटीफुल नाइस लुकिंग डेटाबेस ओके नाउ द फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी आई विल गो टू द इंसर्ट एंड इन इंसर्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू गेट वन ऑप्शन पिवट दोस नो गुड हैव टू वेट फॉर फ्यू मिनट्स टिल आई कम एट द एडवांस लेवल दोस हु डोंट नो लर्न फ्रॉम द बेसिक फ्रेंड्स ओके सो गो टू द इंसर्ट एंड क्लिक ऑन पिवट टेबल and over here he is asking you uh, select a table already it is selected and where you want i want always in a new worksheet now here one small observation if you will see those who are not knowing pivot they will not realize those who are knowing pivot they will realize here you will see friends table range what it is coming table 1 when you were previously creating a table it was showing range a1 to Z20. It was showing a fixed range. Now it is not a fixed range. It's a name of a table. So table grows, range grows. Okay. And now I will just say okay. As soon as you say okay, a new sheet has been added for you with the name sheet one or sheet two. And this is the place where all your reports will get created. This is the name of the headings field list which we will be using. The first report which we planned was gender wise. Right. So now, how I it should look like? It should look like this: male, female, like this. So this is rows, and if you want male, female, like this, this is your column. Okay. So I want row wise. So what I will do here? I have four areas. One is the filter area. One is the column area. One is the row area, and fourth is the value area. I will show you all the four options. Okay. But mostly column, row, and values are used over here. so i will come over here and i want a first report gender wise so i will take this gender and drag it under the row you can click also there are two methods whatever way you are comfortable i my habit is uh, just uh, dragging in that area so i come over here and i drag it over here so i get male and female now i wanted to know the count how many people are there very simple this same gender column you will drag it under the value i will take this gender and put it under the value whenever you put under value it will give you the count those of you who are from payroll okay and if you want to see department wise salary disbursed you put department and you take the payroll column and put it under the value as soon as you put number column under the value it will convert into the sum why it took the count because it's alpha numeric m a l e so it takes count and if it is a number column it will take the sum and all so this is the first report which got created yeah very good in our data it was around 500 records and uh, over here we have this very good so now it might happen from this many people have a uh, uh, turnover attrition so if you will see the attrition data over here so you have some records over here like 008 020 we have moved in the another sheet so if you will see employee data 008 i don't find 008 record 007 009 so eighth record is not there so it's employee id and we can't change employee id once uh, allocated so it's showing the employee id 500 but uh, people have moved it to the attrition sheet that's why good good observation okay now i have created a first report now i wanted to see each person male so many me, female so many so i wanted to see now nationality wise or department wise okay so again these are very basic so people have to wait till the time i come at advanced level and more interesting reports so but for the benefit of other people so i wanted to see from female each department so i want to drill down the report so i will come here on the right hand side and this department i will put it under the gender below the gender it will give you more detail that 234 are female but how many female in each department this can be again showed in different layout as well how you can put this department from row to the column so see over here row is there i am putting it under the column it is like this no i think it's become very big i think we should put this over here and gender over here now it looks nice now you see this report friends i will just make it center if you convert this report with pivot it took me less than 1 minute if you try to do this manually 
it will take more than 15 minutes more than 20 minutes copy paste 100 time filter you have to do okay here what you did nothing insert pivot drag here drag here and your work is done these are very very basic level of reports now i will move a little bit more ahead which is very interesting which none of you said in the starting i made the count now my manager told me ramzan can you show me how much is the percentage of male and female so i have really seen people working with pivot using this formula equal this divide by this okay control shift 5 convert into the percentage and then drag it no this is not the wrong the right way but a lengthy way we do with pivot how i will show you i will come here this is my count one more time i will drag this gender over here okay it will give me second column and i will right click on this column i will say summarize value by count is there i will say show value as and here you get one option percent of column total very important option when i click on it and my work is done very simple now if you manage in each department how many people are there and how what is the percentage you don't have to take any tension what do you have to do you just uncheck the gender from here sorry you just come over here and uh, where is my department you just bring the department over here and remove the gender over here it automatically converted everything so it's so simple but if you will see what i did now i removed the gender and put the department where is my gender wise report it went plus it went so I don't want like this multiple I'm for, uh, creating a new report and my previous report is going. I want to show my management multiple reports on one screen. So how do we do that? This concept is known as the method of dashboarding, bringing all the pivots in one just with the help of copy paste. Okay. And then converting into the dashboard, which will come after a few minutes. So I'm deleting this sheet and now we will start with one more important thing. So I go to the insert and again I go to the pivot and over here I will just say OK. Before I start with the actual concept of dashboard, I need to show you something more important things like uh, Stanley asked uh, uh, age group, how many people. So over here I have uh, age, right? So I put the age calculating age over here and this only I will drag it under the value so I got a sum but I don't want sum I want a count so I right click on this I say summarize value by count I got count but here 19 age 14 people 20 age 19 people uh, it, it, it will not make much sense so I need to group it for grouping a beautiful option you just right click on the number that age number and there is an option group click on group and it will ask you so it is showing you now 19 and 46 minimum and maximum age he pulled from the database what is the group difference you need i want a age group of 10 so 9 to 29 it will work like this and it converted into the group this is one of the beautiful options so grouping in fact grouping you can't do only on numbers you can even do on the dates and doing and doing groupings on date is one of the best option, which I will show it to you. So again, I will go over here and let's say uh, I have hiring date. Somebody asked the hiring, right? Each month, how many you ask? Okay, you all saw. So now I will show you each year how many people got hired. Okay. Oh, one second. In fact, we have data from 2005 to 2017. 12 years of data is there so instead of month why don't we do that way we see each year how many hiring and each year each month you can even show my friend how do you do quarter wise hiring each quarter how many people hired each week how many people got hired so you can say date wise hiring week wise hiring month wise hiring quarter wise hiring year wise hiring how simple click and you get the report no need of doing 100 times filter but make the life easy how i will do very simple go to insert go to pivot and just say okay where is my higher date so i drag till here i took the higher date put it under the row and same higher date i will drag it under the value now if you will observe this screen friends 
is automatically showing you year wise why because this is my excel 2016 latest version but if you are working on 13 and uh, 10 version it will not show you this it will show you date wise so what we do you have to just right click on this date and there is an option group and over here you get multiple options then yeah then you have to then again bring higher data and attrition data both in one sheet and then create a pivot on that that is one way of doing if you want to include that data also just bring it in one sheet and do it otherwise there is another way of creating a relationship between two tables between attrition sheet and between the employee data on the basis of employee id okay so you can create a relationship between both and you can pull the data as of now i will show you this method okay so i will just uncheck over here and i will just say this i get year wise if you want to see year wise and month wise i say group and i say over here let's say i get year wise and month wise you can convert this data into the layout so i go over here higher and i will put it under the column it gives me a beautiful look okay i select this alt ac so each year each month how many people were hired sir got it percentage of hiring if you want to see only the year wise you can do that as well again i go to the group i remove the months let's say only this and again i took the higher date put it under the value right click show value as percent of column total each year how much percentage of hiring. you can do anything remember in this never say only month wise if you say only month wise what it will do you know Jan of each year, he will calculate and will give you in one shot. So if you have more than one year data, always first do year and then you do the month. Okay, this you should remember. So good. In fact, uh, yesterday somebody I don't remember the name, but he emailed me and he put uh, two three queries on the email. Ramzan, before you start the session, can you solve that query? So I just got clicked now. Okay, so I will quickly cover that query over here. Okay. And the query was something like this that runs on I have a data and I have all this in a small letter some in capital letter I want to convert this uh, in fact previous also I got two three mail okay, how do you convert into capital and small it's very simple friends okay see I will show you you just insert one column over here and there are two ways one is with the formula and another a magical option you want to convert james josephine art lena into capital simple just type james the way you want you tell excel okay boss i need like this capital come on james press control e see i'm pressing control e and see the magic yes, everything is continuing capital. by mistake you have typed everything in capital and you want first character into capital only so you just type james enter and then you press control e everything will be convert there was another query which I will quickly solve before I forget. Ramzan, I have first name and last name and I want a full name. How do you do that? Very simple. You have three ways. One is use a concatenate formula. Another is we use this equal this and space and this and it converts everything. But we use a magical option. We don't use formula in 16 and 13. How we do? We just type James space but. You come on James, control E, and it will copy everything down. So these are the magical options. Okay. Okay. So he says, okay, Ramzan, I have full name. I want to send uh, some letters to uh, all my employees, whatever it is, party, bonus, or uh, whatever it is. I want all the first name. How do you remove? One second. So I just say, James, come on, control E. All the first names are accepted. These are the simple, simple ways of doing. People spend lots of time. Yes, my friend. 13 it will work 13 and 16 10 will not work for 10 then you have to use a formula equal this and this and in 10 if you it doesn't work I, I will show you this also wait one minute so that everything is clear if I want to convert everything into capital if you don't have a latest version no problem just use equal upper kabir all letters capital equal upper you select the James press enter everything in capital if you want everything small equal lower select this everything in lower if you want first character capital you just say equal proper proper converts first character into the capital select this james and first character will be capital 
okay i'm just closing this uh, it was just a quick because i remembered so i don't want to skip in the end you would have been disappointed so good so it was my data done friends so now we come over here so we did all this group wise and everything and now we will start how do you create everything and one screen and quickly dashboard so that in time i don't have to rush and show you important things so now i'm starting with the actual part so i go to insert pivot okay first report i quickly drag the gender over here again same gender over here first report is done how do you bring another report on the another pivot people go to insert again they go to the pivot la no just say control a control c control a select all control c copy go down and just say paste okay in this now what you will do you will bring the nationality over here and remove the gender from here so you get the nationality wise report okay you just need to change the heading that we will see afterwards okay again i will select this data i paste it down uh, i want a uh, age wise so i bring the age group over here and i will quickly convert this uh, i have already converted so i got in a age group this way again i copy this i paste it over here uh, i remove the gender from here and i wanted to see how much is the percentage of local and expat i got this report also again control a control c control v i remove the this and again i went down how many married how many bachelor i got this report as well again copy again uh, you say paste again i went down these are very very simple report month wise hiring i wanted to know a huh? higher date so i have uh, year wise hiring we will say okay so i say year and again this year i will say here but i don't want all this so many i just want only the last five years so i can come here and i quickly go down and select only the last uh, five years Alas, i just want it again i copy this report went down paste it over here so just i am doing nothing but copy paste copy paste i want for example tenure wise oh i have a tenure mm. see now when i click tenure it go into the value actually i will drag it under the row okay and again this tenure i will put it over here so this is my tenure zero means uh, they have been joined in this year i right click and i will group it and group by 10 0 to 9 or why don't we put 5 5 i say right click i say group and i say 5 so you get us this like this friends now whatever reports we have done we can do everything over here but we don't have that much time you got an idea till here first part now if you will see the colors are almost same so what we will do we will just uh, do little cosmetic changes over here i go to the format and i go to the table so just make it a little bit look good so you can put these are all the nice corporate colors so spend few minutes in doing this as well yeah so i click format as table which is under home Come over here and again you put this color class. So you got different different colors. Oh, I don't like this grid lines. So I can go to the view, don't make it white color. I say grid lines. I remove the grid lines. I have not put the heading. So I will just select the heading and uh, I will put any color over here. Okay, I will put any color over here and let's put the name of a company, for example, NMC Healthcare. How we spell N NMC healthcare or hospital? Healthcare. Okay. Now I will just make it bold. I will just increase the font size. I want to make it center. I want to bring this inner center. How you do center? Merge. You do merge, right? Uh, so you select all and you do merge. I will show you without merging. A new type of alignment. Because when you do merge, selection again becomes problem. So see how do you merge without, how do you center without merging the all? so what you do you come on this cell shift and select all this right now if you say center from here it will do the center of that cell which you know so don't do center from here select it and you right click on this cell and you say format my cells format my cells over here in this you go to the alignment and in alignment this is our 
uh, horizontal so i click over here and here you get one option center across selection without merge you use this click on it and say okay and it's your center when you put the cursor over here it will show you here it will not show you here okay so this way basically we do this oh i have not in the heading so i say over here gender wise i quickly change this nationality wise i come over here i say for example age group i have for example tenure this you have to do manually friends okay okay year wise hiring and i have let's say for example status and the last one is your for example hmm? no hmm. um, right okay spelling is mistake okay no issues okay. done so now you see what was your report this report which management can't understand you converted that raw data into the meaningful now i will show you one very important thing what is that if i add yeah dashboard i will come more on that uh, how do we see if our control t is working here you have male and female right so you have 234 females remember 234 is the number i went down and two new people joined so i'm not typing anything i'm just copying pasting okay don't have a time and both are female for example now when i come over here i don't have to change the range normally we go here analyze and we say change data source now no need just right click and you just say refresh see automatically it will become 236 got it so this is very important control t will make your life simple no need of creating report again and again and doing this okay now there is one more small thing which you should know friends let's say once it happened that in the evening uh, two people got hired and you filled two uh, names over here very interesting thing i'm going to show you now 503 and 504 and this again both were female you saved the file you went home you went home you didn't refresh you forgot to refresh next day when you come it's not going to refresh and you might send a wrong report so one of the best practice is after you create a pivot convert that pivot into the semi refresh what is semi refresh i will go over here in my pivot one of the market best practice right click on the pivot after creating a pivot there is an option pivot table option go over here and there is an option in this data and over here you get one option see refresh data when opening a file always check mark this and i just say okay Plus. and i say okay now whenever you will close the file and next time whenever you will open the file you will get the data updated so at least half risk is avoided okay if you don't close the file and if you forget then Plus. it's done but next day if you open the file it will be refreshed so make sure you do this setting okay now after you convert this i have created my heading also after this what i want to create a beautiful nice looking charts on this oh we can even add the kpis key performance indicators hr training everybody has some kpis like one of the kpi can be completing training hours monthly training hours is this or attrition should not be more than four percent five percent or whatever there can be many kpis so while presenting it to the management it should show them quickly so now i will show you how the dashboard is actually designed there can be two ways i open a dashboard nice looking and i will show you how do you put the formula no i will show you from basic scratch how do you create your own design itself so you get more strong in this even you can show this to the management this is sufficient for them from this raw data they are getting this nice looking very good Achha. if you are more interested i will show you something very very interesting here you have gender male and female uh, amortization status nationality if your manager and ask you ramzan i wanted to see this male and females are there right i wanted to know from each nationality how many male and female or they ask you this way uh, how many mrt male and how many female 
again you have to create another pivot and show you i will show you one very very interesting dynamic way of doing see what you can do i will come on this go to insert and there is a very interesting option known as slicer very interesting. this you should use this is one of the heart of dashboard part i click on slicer which slicer you want i want a slicer of uh, gender huh? so i click on gender and i say okay alas i got male and female i will make it little small i will just keep it nicely over here and if you want you can make it two columns so that it comes on one line adjust it nicely khalas done okay now how many married and unmarried let's say on this you want to put a filter how many mrt and if you want to put opposite for example or you want a nationality wise how many married or non married let's try that insert again i go to the slicer how it will work i will show you okay give me a minute so both the things i will show together where is my nationality over here ah here is the nationality okay i will put again nicely over here arrange it i want that in three columns one two three i think i should take four columns adjust it perfectly okay we'll put it oh i want to change the color for this so from here you can even change the color if you wish okay done just give it to them they want to see male and female they click on female they get female number male male number female female they want to see married how many married and single from egyptian community you click on egyptian you get this for the india you are from jordan you are from pakistan you get everything so just on a click of a button your reports will work this with the help of pivot again 2013 slicer is there slicer is there okay now if you want to bring again all now this female right so here is the option see clear when you click it will come both so this is for both and this for male and this for female getting so these are there is one more small thing which is happening if you observe sometime when i'm clicking on this egyptian see you saw that it little uh, adjusted is column uh, width you want that column with not to adjust it should be as it is again and again is disturbing of us so right click pivot table option and there is an option over here auto fit column with on update i said don't auto fit boss when i update don't auto fit just say okay like this you have to apply for all the table so it will not adjust the column with on its own it will be a fixed size so this was a concept of slicer which can be used like anything okay now i will show you the concept of creation of a dashboard this was still summary this can also be said as a dashboard you will see this is also a dashboard but if you want to present more in a better way now i will show you some interesting way i will insert one sheet over here and let me rename it as dashboard how you will present this data summary in a dashboard form in the looking a chart but not only chart i can just show you so uh, alt f1 put the four chart over here and dashboard ready you are happy i am happy but i will show you beyond that okay how do you create see this is a blank sheet nothing is in front of you and now in next 5 minute you will see a beautiful looking thing over here and you can need to give me 2 minutes and observe very carefully method i am making this a column little bit small row little bit small i come on this area i select something like this and i fill one color over here i will increase the heading over here i just quickly type for example nmc healthcare uh all touch am middle align i want like this align so i select this control 1 to format it and i will quickly go over here and i say center across selection it became center i increase the font size from here i make it bold the heading is done oh i think uh, i should make it white color quickly okay more 5 minutes and you will see something let's keep it black okay again i come over here i selected all this again i come over here let me put some light color over here increase this control 1 do the setting of center okay and let's say uh top for example for kpis okay Key performance indicators. Alt H A M. I make it bold and let's increase the font size over here. Okay, and over here you can even mention something like this H R. 
dashboard 2017 nmc healthcare dubai or let oh, i mean abu dhabi so i say abu dhabi okay or let's say uae okay let's say uae done after this what i want four kpis to be shown in a nice way open and they see here is the method for that oh first i will just quickly remove the grid lines i don't know i don't like this so i uncheck this i want to create a border also let me create the small small thing first i select it like this okay control 1 to open a format you know how do you add a border so i go to the border and i want border on a right hand side so i select the border i select the color on a right hand side okay got it i got a border on a right hand side and over here i want four kpis to be designed by myself uh, not the KPI, but the design part. I came over here, I put this over here, I increased the font size, and I just made the alignment as center. This I went little fast because the same step I'm repeating. I will copy this, friends, paste, copy paste. So we are expert, so no need. Okay, so I've done everything. Oh, I think here one column is left, so I can do the setting. Class. Done. After this, here I'm going to put the head. Now I want to create a nice looking box. Box. So I come over here and you can take your own design. I'm taking this one. You can take your own uh, design. I will just come on this. I rotate it. I want to remove the color. So I go to the shape fill. I say no fill. Same color I want for the outline. So I go over here and I say outline. Perfect. I will zoom it very big, little big. So that I get hundred percent accuracy over here to this part, and this is my one-time job. Perfect. I will come on this yellow color marker, and I will just say I don't want so much smooth. I want uh, uh, perfect. Good. I will make it little small. I will click on this. Press Control and Shift and drag. It will create one more box. Don't spend much time on this. It's a one-time job. See, I press Control Shift and then drag it over here. Control Shift, take a mouse, drag it on the right hand side. Control Shift, drag it on a right hand side. Okay, perfect. Then I need one border, and below this I will put my interesting some charts. So I will quickly select this Control One to add a border, and I want on the top side border. If I click over here, I say okay. Alas, done. Okay, so uh, let's put some KPI. Can you tell me one of the HR KPI? What are your KPIs? Employee satisfaction. Very good. So it comes under what percentage we measure? KPIs we need to, whatever is measurable, we will put it under the KPI. Yeah? Employee satisfaction. Oh, it's becoming a little bit. So I will just put it over here. Let's say 10 or H A M middle. I put a bold and let's put some white color here. Okay. Uh, let's put another thing over here. Let's say for example, training hours. I can over here again say copy. This is my third. This is my fourth. And over here I can just put attrition. And then again I can put. Hmm? Cost of recruitment should not go more than this or what? Cost of hiring. Okay, very good. Perfect. We will fill the detail afterwards. Okay, in this we will put the formula afterwards. I will slowly go up and I will put my cursor over here. Now I will go over here and I want to create a chart on this gender. What is the shortcut for creating a chart? Just now I said Alt F1. Alt F1. My chart is ready. Okay. I will make the chart a little bit small over here. I want to move the chart from here to my dashboard sheet. Control X, cut it from here. Go to the dashboard sheet, put the cursor where you want and just say paste. Let's make it little small so that we can see it clearly. And I will nicely put my chart over here. I want to change the design of a chart to so go to design and take any simple design, right click, Add the data label so it gives me the number. Okay, number is not showing. I don't want this button, so I say right click, I say hide, 
right click i say hide i don't want this legend click on this legend delete i want to say it as gender so i double click on it and i say gender over here alas done now management might ask me that uh, this uh, gender male and female i want to see nationality wise how many male from india how many female from india or uk so what i did i will come here i will go to insert and there is an option slicer remember slicer will work only on presentation if you have a normal data slicer node does not work why it's working on chart because this chart is created on a pivot that's why it's working so i can put a slicer on pivot or chart also is very interesting frames if you realize the value of this it's very big okay i will put the nicely over here and let's make it uh, uh two column and i will just adjust it nicely over here okay. and let's give it give it to them alas okay one is ready okay now again what i will do i will not waste time i will just quickly come here control c for copy i will quickly say paste again i can say over here copy and i think i should go down and paste okay so i have already copy pasted so this is one is done okay now or in fact see there are many ways now it's up to your creativity and many things here we can do one more thing i insert this more and you can put this gender over here and why to waste a uh, space on a right hand side just put this over here let's go over here and let's make it three or four columns and let's put it over here so that on right side we can put some another chart so our dashboard will be little small and quickly can be seen on one screen so i will just put it over here nicely arranged and that's all fast yeah i will copy this paste it over here copy paste i should not waste actually time in doing this format much okay done i go over here now i want uh, for example show another chart let's say age group how many percentage i want so for showing percentage we use a pie chart okay so i go to the insert and i go over here and there is an option pie chart i will make it little small bring it over here and i want to add a percentage so if for adding a percentage go to the design and on the left hand side you get one option quick layout and over here you get percentage if you want to change some another design oh yeah take this i right click and i say hide i don't want to see that button oh here in between it's already written so why i will put this legend delete this as well and over here i can say for example age group perfect i click control x cut it go to the next sheet put the cursor control v for paste and let's arrange it nicely over here as well okay then i come over here and i arrange it nicely but when i arrange what's happening you know this right side area is uh, wasting our this should be big so again i click on this inside one and in fact i can just make this also big you know so it looks good well, right that area is not waste oh on this also management might ask okay age group uh, this this which department they are here they have asked on this again i go over here i go to insert i go to slicer and i say department right where is my department i go to the department i say okay option i change this to three column i arrange it nicely over here i will show you how do you lock and other hidden things also here in next few minutes so i go here and i can change the color okay so that it looks a little different yeah and again i can arrange it nice little here and my work is done okay so one is for this one is you see the beauty of it friends are you realizing this you are from india from india and email female lebanon saudi philippines your bi work business intelligence big big software work is doing in excel without formula without third party software installation i said click over here okay click on this and it's showing you the percentage what else you want in excel like this you can go on i will create more two charts and then we will move to the 
next option okay otherwise we will get more delay this okay so this is done okay something on training satisfaction or training hours we will put okay how many training hours achieved so i go to the training data over here this is my training data where is my training hours okay training hours is total is coming 12771 and this data is of 2017 only so i need not worry which year and all i want a ytd okay 2017 so i will come over here and quickly i can put a formula equal sum open a bracket go to this training data and click on the heading directly and press enter and you get this many hours i select this control 1 what i'm doing center align i go over here center across selection okay go to home increase the font size okay or some different uh, font if you want you can just put a different font over here okay in the same way i will copy over here attrition i will paste it over let's say i have attrition 4% now i'm not calculating so i have 4% attrition cost of hiring i will just put no cost of hiring we will calculate wait so where is my cost of hiring here i have hiring mode and i have cost so you want me to put sir full cost right huh? we can put different uh, that also and then you can align it but let's put it now directly over there so that we can complete this part and move ahead so equal sum i go to my employee data sheet i click on y column and press enter oh cost of hiring white showing me percentage oh i had formatted that cell as percentage that's why okay so i will copy this and paste it over here so that the same format comes equal sum i went over here cost of hiring enter i select control one and i say this and i say okay friends getting this way a dashboard is prepared now you know what work you have in company for reporting what work you have <laughs> nothing you have <laughs> i don't know what you will do now in going to office you just have to sit those who are in reporting here you go and just put the data over here your junior person puts the or whatever guys put the data over here no need of refresh also close and open if you feel to refresh slightly close open once again and it will be refreshed getting like this i can go ahead and i can create more charts over here but again it will waste time only imagination that so i wanted to just show you the concept how to use that review use that friends okay there is one very again uh, important concept known as a timeline timeline very very well. like slicer you have a timeline what is timeline for example i have this many male and female so here when you go to the insert that is a concept of timeline okay uh, here i am hiring yes uh, um, here this is this is my year of number of people got hired right each year so over here i have insert and i have an option timeline and i can just say for example on my uh, higher date and i just say okay and you get this this is wonderful feature wonderful feature and here you can set i just wanted to see for example month wise so i wanted to see in 2015 how many people got hired in the month of jan so you just drag it over here wherever is 2015 and click on jan and it will show you 2015 only two people were hired in jan you want a year wise i click on year wise and you can have a year wise button tab automatically created you want a quarter wise you have a quarter wise option you want to clear it you can clear it so now you have to go in the office and explore all this option and arrange it nicely and create a nice looking dashboard so this is basically the concept of creating a dashboard friends okay now more work what is there nothing you come over here and create chart on this maslan i went to insert and let's say if i create a bar chart so i go over here and this again take a bar chart go to design put nice color into it i say control x oh why don't we create nationality wise chart alt f1 nationality wise chart is ready go to design change this i don't want the button right click hide right click hide i come over here on the heading nationality I don't want this word total. 
click right click sorry not right click control x cut go to the dashboard go down nicely put the cursor and i say control v for paste and i have a nationality wise chart so i created this and i came till here Oh, I might uh, manage my mind. Ask me, okay, Amazon, this many people are from each nationality. Can you tell me uh, how many people are from each department? So again, there can there is a two way. Now I'm showing you a little bit more advanced. There are two ways of doing it. Here you have already department. If you click on administration, it will show you in administration department. This this group are how many percentage, right? So this slicer is affecting only one chart. There is an option you can connect one slicer to multiple charts. Maslan, here I need for nationality. So I want, when I click on finance, it should show me in finance how many people from each nationality and what is the age group. I want that. Very simple, no need of worry. First, you click on this chart and you see what is the name. I go to the design or format. This is basically the chart area. And this is created on which data? on this pivot what is the name of this pivot i go to the analyze and here it show me the pivot name so pivot table is five nationality pivot table is pivot table five okay friends if i'm not able to see anybody's face because i'm seeing this people face regularly so don't mind okay it's a big batch so that's why okay so i hope you will not mind that okay so what i was saying uh -huh. so this is pivot table five so I will go on this slicer, I will go on this slicer, I will go to the option and there is an option report connection and now it's showing you which report connected 6. So I will say pivot table 5 also you connect and just say okay. Now on one button it will show me two effects. Okay, now I'm just making it small so you can see. This will also be affected. I want to see okay marketing department, this is the age group, this many from each nationality. In fact, you can click on this and link that to the gender as well. So I will come on gender quickly and what is my gender pivot table name? I go to analyze its pivot table 4. So I will go here. I will click on this uh, slicer, go to option, uh, report connection and it was pivot table 4, right? Yes, say okay. Now when on one click button, you get all the three reports charts updated. You can do this way also. So there are many things which you need to explore a little bit more on this. Clear friends? Afterwards what? You want to give this to them? Yeah, give it to them. But you need to hide something. Not intentionally, but so that other people don't make any mistake and all. So I go to the employee sheet. You can just right click and you just say, for example, hide. You can do this thing. You can just hide it. Okay. The another way is if I come on a dashboard, I don't want people to go on a right side, left side and all. So we will just hide everything. So I click on a P column, control shift right. It will select all the columns till right and control zero. When you press control zero, see all the columns will be hidden. Now there is no column till after row. So nobody can move here and there. After I go over here, in fact, you can do one more thing over here. If you want to create some notes or additional something, then just type something like this notes, bold, and uh, you can just merge this because you need to type more things into this. So I go over here and I say, for example, merge. Okay. Okay, I just did the alignment part. And over here, let's say I go to the home and I fill some light color into this. So here you can type some extra notes if you wish. So and if you want more charts, you can add more charts. Or if you want to hide, select Control Shift down. And what is the shortcut for hiding a row? Control zero. No, Control zero is for column. For row, it's Control nine. If I come here and if I press Control zero, Mohan, see, alas, okay, it will go like this. So it's Control nine. Okay, so control 9 to hide a row and control 0 to hide a column. So your nice looking HR dashboard is ready. You can add more charts, which I told you I'm not showing because of the timing issue. And all these things can be done easily, friends. Okay. So this was all about this. Any other question you have? No. 
yes uh, it's possibility but only the slicer will not work so there is an option in powerpoint that while pasting a chart in powerpoint how you want to paste you want whenever excel get updated your powerpoint should get updated so you can paste a chart as a link not normal paste there are three ways of pasting one is a normal paste one is paste it as an image uh, wherein uh, it updates it does not update and one is pasting as a link how you do that i will just throw some light on that let's say i have this i'm not putting the company name and all just quickly i'm showing you so i will go to my dashboard sheet and let's say maslan i have this control c copy go to powerpoint don't say control v for paste say control alt v it will open a paste special window and see over here is giving you two option one is paste another is paste link both are different that's why they have given two different option paste link and i just say okay so you paste it as a link come on this corner and arrange it nicely again i go here select control c copy go over here control v i put it paste okay and again i will take another chart quickly select this control c for copy go here control v for paste and again yes pasted it as a chart over here got it now let me show you how it will update now you see in uh, uh, powerpoint you have female 9 and male 12 this is your powerpoint right i am going over here here also in excel it's 9 so this will update when i update my data right because this is linked to this so nine females are there over here uh because it is filtered on something i add one more female i add one more female so now it should be 11 but again i need to see the department right so i will go over here and i will clear it okay i will say no this setting got messed up i clear it where is my this male female right click refresh this still is 9 why <clears throat> why can you tell me yes i have connected that to the slicer right let me clear it of everything okay because here i had filter on this so it was that right so now you have 240 female right now let me see the powerpoint whether it has updated or no powerpoint is updated so no need of copying pasting recently i did one project for one company what was the project you want to know that hr person called me she connected with me on linkedin she said ramzan i have a project for you so yes what so she says i have around uh, 25 sheets excel she is good in pivot table she is good in Uh, charts and everything so what she did she had a same data uh, all the data and uh, she created a different different sheets not like a dashboard type like i showed you this thing on one sheet she had nationality wise another sheet she had male female like this 25 charts 25 different sheets she says i need to present a weekly dashboard so every week one of the tension is i have to refresh and do all these things and another is 25 time copy paste copy paste and in the here in powerpoint i have 25 slide one chart on one slide every time i have to update so i do 25 times copy paste are in this that can you create some nice macro and do something i said okay i took the project i sent the invoice she was a decision maker so quickly she approved in half an hour and she called me it was a confidential data and what i did after going there i went to excel control c for copy came here control alt v paste special link on each slide i went control alt v paste link paste link 20 time copy paste as a link project completed she said what you did i said you just see so she is updating and it's updating alas and i got my dinner alhamdulillah so it's much like this yeah so this is a market so you are skill sales friends okay so then like this there are many things okay but here the slicer does not work if you will say okay ramzan i want to put a slicer on this powerpoint no slicer does not work till now they have not given this thing so okay. yeah correct no it will not come. you have to clear it off ah uh, yeah then also it will work perfectly okay but mostly the dashboard concept if you will ask me mostly it's done in the excel 
so we show this only to the management we hide and we show it to them because it's very easy whenever you update your everything is ready friends okay so this was the entire concept and now i uh, i am so much confident on me that when now you go into the office and if you have this type of raw data you will 100% try to first create the, like this okay and after this you create the chart and create this and copy the same design only future you can create your own designs right so i hope friend i don't know how much time i took okay uh, 40 45 minutes i don't know okay okay so i hope you enjoyed the session friends make sure you practice any query anything is there uh, feel free to write me uh, this is my uh, uh, contact details if you wish those who want they can write it down my name is ramzan which you already know and uh, this is my mobile number i am on whatsapp also plus 9715820485100 and this is my email address ramzan rajani at gmail.com you can okay i will just little bit increase the font size you don't have a shortcut in notepad please huh Allah, this is my details okay so i thank nmc hospital for sponsoring this and giving me the opportunity to speak uh, in front of i think uh, now we have 5 10 15 20 40 i think 60 hr people from abu dhabi from dubai coming at one place and i thank uh, uh, mohan specially for coordinating all these things and arranging and uh, bringing all of you sending the confirmation emails and anything friends okay? so in future if you need any advice on creating a dashboard for your company from my side it will be totally complimentary you have a data and you got stuck somewhere and you need my help advice I will surely help you complimentary as you all from our shapers group and uh, we will see in future if you can plan this type of session with some another topic like how do HR use practically VLOOKUP okay how do you effective where it is used how do you use if multiple if where to use macro so all these interesting topics uh, we can see how it goes so this time we are happy that uh, we invited almost 80 people and we see around 65 70, 65 people i can count now quickly so that is a very good number you spent your friday over here your sleep and i hope you have got the best from this session in one hour and be in touch friends i'm on linkedin you just search ramzan rajani and i again thank uh, uh, ashish from mumbai my friend for organizing this session giving me the opportunity to in speak in front of so many senior uh, members over here and be in touch friends okay thank you so much make sure you become more productive for your company and take your excel skill to the next level okay thank you so much bye thank you thank you